Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. The Mosaic Mandala Community Project is starting this week and this is how I have organized it. I have just glued the glass down where I want it to go in each of the areas so that it's very clear and it's a visual reminder of where things go. Rather than having a key and working that way, I've spent some time figuring out what each one has. They're all a little bit different. They each have their own personality. And as I was laying out the designs, I took the glass and set it aside in a box to bring with me. And I sorted it per color. So these five are the five purples and I have all the glass for these together in one spot. And then I have the five blue all ready to go and the five green here are all ready to go as well. So that's how I've organized the mandalas themselves. In addition, I have cut some strips of blues and this was the blue palette from before, which we're using most of the same glass. And then the purple palette, which I think I just added this one. And then the green palette, oops. And then these are new colors that have been added. So this is the extended palette over here. But just to keep myself organized, I have bins for each of the colors. And then here are my adhesives and my footballs, all ready to go, so. Great job, me. I would have to say that this took quite a bit of time and was quite a bit of work just to get it started, but now it's now it's all organized. I feel confident that everything I have everything I need for everybody that will be there. There are slots for 36 people to come and work on it this weekend, and I don't know if they're all full, but I should have something for everybody to do and no one will be sitting there with nothing to do, which is my greatest fear because we'll never finish it that way. This is my fantastic box of glass. I've got all of the, the purples here separated by the hot colors, which there's only a little bit of those. Then I have all my greens. Then I have all my mirrors. And then I have my all my blues. So it's, it's very organized even within this box just so that I can find things very quickly. And I tried to clean all the glass so that there will be minimal cleaning that day. As I say that, I see I can clean that one. Also, this week, one of my sons is here and he started this base a long time ago and has about one and a half sides left to do. And he said he's gonna be working on it. So I'll give you an update on that. If he can finish that before he goes, that would be fantastic. So I see you finished that other, the half of the side. So what, what did you do on that side? Uh, I finally finished filling in all the background uh, cream color here, this top layer here, and this uh, purple flower is completely new. I wanted it to be separate, uh, different from the other side. Okay. So I finally finished it. What is your plan for the last side? Uh, I'm just going to copy the uh, opposite side again. That way it's kind of symmetrical. Okay. So you're going to use my Melifiori. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to steal all your glass <laughs> once more. All right. Have fun. Finally got this side done. Uh, it's just got the same background styling as the other side, no flowers, so it's a lot less complex. Just got the Melifiore, finished this side today as well, and then the rest was done before. So that's How much, much time did you spend on it today? Today? About, I don't know, 10 minutes? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Hey everyone, 
I want to get started on a new mosaic project and this is one for my garden so it is going to go outside. I actually got started on it quite a while ago. I took a class with Maria Sarmiento where we used Paltia to make sculptures and this is something that can go outside. So I made this exterior sculpture. This one has a pole. It's a little bit loose here, but I will be affixing it in place with epoxy sculpt. And then it has a connector. And then that will connect to the pole that is mounted in the ground. So I'm all set up to work on it and I know how I'm gonna mount it and everything. And now I'm going to use small tea and I'm gonna use blues and I want it to sort of represent water. I don't just have this one. <laughs> I made three of these, so I'm gonna put them at different heights. Here's the second one, here's the third one. They're all just a little bit different. And I'm going to get started now. All right, so here are my three things side by side. I'm not gonna work on all of them at the same time. I'm just, I think I'll start with this one because it's the smallest. And here is some of the small tea that I'll be using. Mostly it will be blue, and I really love this cobalt color but I am going to pop some other colors in. I'll probably pull some more and maybe even use some gold. And then my son was just using the Mille, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit of Mille in there, but still mostly blue. My approach to these is to make them mostly blue because they will be seen from a distance. I'm planning on putting them sort of in the back of my yard all together. And I hope that they're striking all together and that that blue is a nice contrast to the green in my garden. But I didn't wanna put, you know, some busy design on here if it's at a distance because you wouldn't really see that design anyway. So I'm going to have fun just putting the small tea on here, but I'm going to keep it pretty simple. That's it. I'm using Laticrete 254 Thin Set, which is white, and I have mixed black pigment in. If you mix a dry pigment in, the ratio that you want to use is 20 to 1. So I've pre-mixed it in this bag. And when I add water to it, it's going to become black. And now I only have a little bit of time this week to work on it, which is right now today. So I'm not gonna get very far. Just whatever I mix up, that's what I'll be using. I like to put my water in first. It really doesn't matter. like a consistency that will work for me. So I'm going to close this bag and now that I'm done mixing it I can take off my mask. Woo. And while this is slaking, it has to slake for five to ten minutes, I'm going to start cutting a little bit of my small tea up. So the thin set has slaked, and uh, just to keep things a little bit on the neater side, I'm going to put it in a baggie and work from a baggie. I just snip the corner and I'm good to go. 
So I have decided to start in this little depression here, see how it kind of goes down, and I'm gonna make a swirl. And so I'm starting with some 24 karat gold in blue. I think I need something to prevent it from rolling. So I think my scissors will work for now. Just look at the dimension just in this little part that I've already started. It's already undulating around the form. Ah, oh, I think it's gonna be so nice and sparkly and just blue out there in the garden. Can't wait. Working. And when I look back at the work, I think I'm actually going to lift this piece, scrape out the thin set. I'm going to cut it so that I can, it makes a nice uh, split right there instead of sticking out and having another point. So this little tip is going to come off or whatever that is. I don't like to use this type of shape, but every once in a while, I'm just going to use it because it'll flatten out that corner a little bit. Note, I'm still not happy with it. I think I'm going to have to come back and fix it later because I don't have time right now. All right, what do you have going on there? Uh, this is my custom colored grout. Uh, just for the rest of this mosaic, I'm going to spread this along it and that will be the grouting. What color did you put in there? Uh, it's a blue-green mix just to uh, kind of blend with the base, but then pop as it goes up. Oh, um, okay. Sounds good. Thank you.
freshly grouted. Very nice. I've got the room all set up for the mandala project. I'm expecting a lot of volunteers. We have people sign up and I think there's about 35 or 36 people that are signed up. There's usually one or two no-shows, so maybe we won't have that many people, but close. And so instead of having all 15 projects out, what I've done is I've set the five blue ones here, uh, five other ones there, and then I set the five other ones aside, and we're just going to work on those two colors. That's 10 projects for potentially 12 people coming in to help. I think it's going to work out just fine, and it's going to keep me more sane to just limit the number that we're working on. And since we have three sessions, we can just swap them out, and we'll be able to work on all of them. I can't wait to see how far they get. How's it going? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much you guys got done. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for helping everyone. How was it? Awesome. <laughs> Thanks for helping.
that's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.